Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom with an American state national, a.k.a. a softard, just just under a different type of name. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. But he doesn't exactly play well with others, and he ends up talking himself into a lot more jail time than he had initially. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, we are on record in file 23-21516-FH, People versus Donald Raymond Lamont Lester. We are here today for a pretrial hearing in this case, and we are proceeding today by video conference uh, and also in person. We are, uh, or first let me ask the attorneys place their appearance on the record, beginning with Ms. McClure. B.B. McClure, we have the people. Your Honor, Michael Dagger Margosian for Mr. Lester. All right, and Mr. Dagger Margosian, where do we stand with Mr. Lester's case today? Uh, Your Honor, at this point, I, I don't. There's there's a breakdown of attorney client relationship. I, I can't move forward and represent Mr. Lester. I've I've without getting into the details, obviously those are privileged, but um it's it's clear that Mr. Lester either needs to move forward pro se and I can certainly be on standby or I can conflict this out, but our, our office is not gonna be able to represent Mr. Lester. Yeah, I would like the ACLU to pour. I poured everything to the ACLU, they already have my file and the civil rights commission. Mr. Lester, I'm sorry, but the microphone at the jail is is really bad. There's a bad echo there. Can you hear me? Uh, so can you hear me can, now? Yeah. So I can I can hear you. The issue is if you could talk not quite so loudly because it's an it's an echo in the room that causes the problem. I'm I'm in the, um, the ACLU and the Civil Rights Commission already are on all this. Um, you can move my file to those. They already I have uh, sent them my complaints. I've also got the uh, a failure to appear what I was picked up for in the first place was dismissed. And Mr. Bargosian is trying to move forward with, uh, with a, a trial. And I'm not feeling that. I want to move for an immediate dismissal because I was harassed for three days. Oh, that's what you call uh, jail, huh? Harassment. Oh, yeah. You go around and committing crimes and you get punished for it by being put in jail. Well, dude, maybe you should think about not committing any crimes and acting like a damn normal person. But nah, where's the fun in that? Where's the excitement? And I'm sure that's what all the employers like to see on your resume, a long list of arrests and everything like that. Oh man, I'm sure they would love to see that. And they already have wind of this. There should be, uh, they should be asking for the body cam from August 2nd, as well as the 4th. Um, I still haven't went over any evidence. So the Civil Rights Commission has my, my paperwork um, and well, my affidavits rather, and the uh, ACLU is on standby as well. I just rather for my whole file to go to them and let them represent them, let them take a, a look at what's going on. I don't have any transcripts. I haven't talked to any smart goals in since then. Um, I had to have the court, I had to have the jail uh, email the uh, courts for a court date because I've been sitting here for so long. Like I said, the, the failure to appear got dismissed. That's what I was picked up for originally. Okay, so Mr. Lester, you, you've been charged with possession of methamphetamine and two counts of assaulting, resisting, obstructing a police officer. You have previously been represented by the public defender's office and they are requesting to uh, withdraw as your attorney at this point. If that were to happen, another attorney would be assigned to you. Uh, I just said the ACLU. I don't know what part of that nobody understands, but the ACLU is on standby as well as the Civil Rights Commission. I said it again. So by standby, what do you mean? I mean, did they file anything on your behalf or anything like that already? Well, if not, well, then uh, I don't think they're on standby. They probably don't even know you exist. In fact, at this point, I would say, Maybe you should get yourself a real attorney or something like that. You know, someone who can actually walk you through all this instead of uh, the catering to all your delusional fantasies. 
about the ACLU being on standby rather than actually being here? You you can forward that all over there to them, and you and they'll, and they'll take the case without no money. You know it like right. I know. So, Mister Mister Lester, those that is not an option that I have to send this okay. case over to the ACLU. If you want the ACLU, I do, I do though because I do though, Cole. Let's get that understood. Now I have that uh, that opportunity to do that, and I'm requesting that on record. Okay, you can you can request that, but the court is not in a position to do that. If you want someone else, to I represent am, sir. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not simple as you just putting the case together and sending it to him. It's not even you, Mr. Margosian, can do it. It's not even your office that needs to do it, Mr. Lester. <laughs> Mr. Lester, please don't interrupt me when I'm talking to you. Right. Here we go. All right. Right now, the public defender's office represents you. I'm going to... No, they don't. He just said he didn't want to represent. <laughs> All right, Mr. Lester is off camera. I don't know whether he's still in the room. I'm standing not. right here. I can hear every word. I'm here as a third party intervener and and a special appearance. Third party intervener. Oh, what the hell is that? In all the court cases I've ever seen, I've never seen that before. Uh, and a special appearance. Well, of course you're a sovereign citizen. So you got to make a special appearance on behalf of your corporate fiction BS, huh? Oh, yeah. Speaking of corporate fiction, I noticed that you're incarcerated right now. Of course, we all noticed that. But why didn't you try turning your uh, paperwork in like that one guy did? Oh, wait, that didn't work out for him either. Uh, he still got incarcerated, even though he tried to turn the paperwork in to serve out his time. Huh, my bad. I'm sorry. That didn't work. The judge was too smart for that. All right, Mr. Lester, are you in agreement with Mr. Dagger Margosian's request to withdraw from your case? That's on him. I, like I said before, I wanted to go to the ACLU or the Civil Rights Commission. I'm going to say it again for the court of record. They are on standby. They already know about all of this. I shouldn't have never been picked up in the first place. I was harassed for three days. Three days, and you have the transcripts right there in front of you when the officers admitted that, that they just wanted me. And send a police report. Mr. Lester, Mr. Lester, I need a yes or no answer to the question of whether you were. Again, that's on him. Mr. Lester, I've, I've muted your device, Mr. Lester, because you are being disruptive and you are not allowing this court process to continue. I'm going to give this one more opportunity. Uh, I'm going to unmute your device. I'm going to ask you the question. If you don't answer or if you continue with this disruptive behavior, I am going to hold you in contempt and sentence you to 93 days in jail. Very unprofessional. Mr. Lester, are you in agreement or are you not in agreement with Mr. Dagger Margosian's request to withdraw as your attorney? Oh, if you please, yeah, yeah I'm in agreement. Okay. Please send that file over to the ACLU, please. Oh, I am sure that the lawyer is so broken hearted that he doesn't need to deal with you anymore. In fact, I think he's so broken hearted he ran out of his office and started dancing in the streets, that praising the judge for releasing him from his duties to deal with this freaking moron. I'm in agreement with that. Mr. Margosian, are you in agreement with you? Send that over to the ACLU, please. Can I get like a contact information? I mean, I don't just send a file. To you the know, ACLU. okay, yeah, but you know where the ACLU office is. I can get that to you. Yes, no problem. You can go off screen and I can get that to you. I have it right here in front of me. No problem. No problem. And, and if that, if that for whatever reason, I mean, that's outside the normal. Man, I'm not, it's, it's, not, it's as simple as right. my question of violating. You know that. We're not going to keep going back and forth. I'm not right, doing whatever. Right. Mr. Mr. Lester, please stop. Uh, so Mr. Lester has consented to the uh, to Mr. Dagger Margosian withdrawing as his attorney. If there's some arrangement for Mr. Dagger Margosian to send information to the ACLU, uh, that is court has no control over whether he is going to do that and the court has no authority to require him to do that and, and you're uh, what the court... 
what the court is required to do under this process is to uh, provide for the appointment of a special public defender. Uh, if Mr. Lester uh, can get the ACLU to represent him, then you need to make arrangements to do that. And if there's an appearance filed by the ACLU, then uh, they are welcome to represent him. Uh, but as it stands now, uh, he is without attorney and the court will make uh, the appropriate arrangements to have a special public defender appointed. If the ACLU uh, wants to substitute in place of that person, uh, they are welcome to do so. Um, I also like for a PR bond. I've been sitting here almost 180 days. My bond is ridiculous. My family's not going to be able to pay that. Well, dude, if you just stop and thought about your actions and stop selling and distributing and everything like that with all these illegal narcotics, maybe your family wouldn't be having to try to pay your bond every single time you get incarcerated. Uh, just a thought, maybe. All right, I will adjourn this case to February 7th. I'm requesting a bond, please, for the court of records. Mr. Mr. Lester, let me do one thing at a time. You're constantly right, interrupting me. I'm, I'm just tired, man. I'm tired. Mr. Stop Mr. interrupting me, Mr. Lester. Good. Damn. How did it, man? Pre-trial is adjourned February 7th at 8.15 a.m. Mr. Lester has made a request for a personal recognizance bond. Uh, court has addressed the issue of bond with Mr. Lester uh, numerous times previously. Uh, my decision on bond and reasons for it at this point uh, have not changed. Yeah. Mr. Lester currently has a two expenses there. Two expenses. Mr. Lester currently has a five thousand dollar cash or surety bond in this case, and that is appropriate, in my opinion, to assure his further appearances. Uh, at this court, and so I'm going to deny the request for a personal recognizance bond. That's crazy, because uh, I am white. No, I don't think it's because of your skin color, dude. It's more than likely that uh, it's your overall attitude uh, that got you in this mess, uh, your uh, inability to, well, function in a civilized society without uh, breaking any laws. I mean, you know, that kind of thing. Mr. Lester. Mr. Lester. Mr. Lester. Mr. Lester. All right, you know what, Mr. Lester, stop. No. I, I muted your device, Mr. Lester. You have been warned repeatedly uh, by me in this hearing as well as in other hearings. You are in contempt of this court as a result of your behavior here today. It's a sentence of the court that you served 93 days in the Lenaway County Jail. Uh, there's no further information that the court needs to uh, find the contempt. It was directed in the presence of the court and after being warned numerous time, times. So, Mr. Lester, you can let the officer that's with you know that you are done with court for today. I will put the device in the waiting room until you are gone. You know, uh, there is another part to this video that I ran across and, uh, well, I will just keep it brief for you. Uh, the ACLU never showed up on this guy's behalf. So basically he was just talking out of his ass like a typical sovtard moron who thinks that he can get away with anything. Well, it didn't work out for him this time. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?